Hi, it's Tom the MTB Geared Out here, and today we're looking at padded protection shorts, or sometimes known as impact shorts. Uh, I wear impact shorts or padded shorts for every ride. Um, frankly, I don't know why you wouldn't. Uh, if you wear a chamois already, um, there's virtually no difference between wearing a regular uh, chamois liner short and an impact short. Um, and today I'm going to tell you about three options that I've got personal experience with. The Race Face Flank Liner, uh, the Liat Impact 4.0 Short, and the 7 IDP Flex Short. So a couple of things to note about all of these shorts. They're all uh, CE certified to level 1 for hip protection uh, only. So that's all they are certified to protect, but as we'll see, um, some of them have uh, hip protect, or in addition to hip protection, have protection lower down on the thigh and or even on the tailbone. Um, another thing I should probably tell you right off the bat is that I am 6 feet, 180 pounds, uh, with about a 34 inch waist, and, um, you know, you can kind of go from there to compare your measurements to mine. Um, I'm wearing a large in the race face and the Liat, but a medium in the 7 IDP. I'll spare you me modeling the shorts, but I think we can get enough detail just looking at them hanging up on the wall. So let's go do that. So first up, we have the race face flank liner. Um, and right off the bat, I'm just going to say what I don't like about this. Um, the, I've had other race face garments and they were all really high quality, but I don't know if I got like the factory workers first day on the job product here or what, but, um, see this line, the stitching's off. Um, and this started happening on the, after the first day I rode in these. Um, but yeah, stitching is off. You look at the other side, it's like that. So I don't know, just sort of the build quality seemed questionable. And the chamois also looked a little sort of uneven in the stitching up here. So yeah, so that's what I don't like about it. But what I do like about it is the chamois is actually pretty comfortable. Um, and it does have these really solid, nice uh, D3O pads that are removable. So you can take them out when you want to put it in the wash, which is a nice touch. Um, no tailbone pad, and oh yeah, look, there's some stitching kind of coming out there too. Um, so it's comfortable, it will protect you, it has a good chamois, but um, sort of the build quality on at least the pair that I got is probably the least impressive of the three shorts that we'll be looking at. So next up we have the Liat, I believe is how it's pronounced. Liat uh, 4.0 Airflex short. Um, and I chose the 4.0 instead of their ostensibly most deluxe 5.0 model because uh, it has a chamois and the 5.0 for some reason does not. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, what I like about this short, <clears throat> um, it's very light and breathable. You can see this mesh is really well ventilated. Um, so it's probably one of the, I think it might be the coolest short in summer. And yeah, even the, uh, the padding material has these nice holes in it to vent. Um, yeah, it's pretty comfortable. Um, I've done all day rides in it and it was pretty good. Um, one thing is this waistline to the crotch measurement is a little short for my anatomy anyway. And it makes them kind of like low riders um, in the way they fit, which it's okay, but it's not my favorite. Um, but I'd say the build quality on these is outstanding. Everything is like 
really well stitched. There's no loose ends anywhere. I've worn these a bunch and they still look pretty new. Chamois comfy. Um, yeah, if it just if it weren't for that low rider issue, and also there's no tailbone pad, which that's kind of a bummer. Um, but yeah, good pair of shorts. Probably um, second favorite for me. Okay, and last but not least, we have the 7 IDP Flex short. Um, I'll just say right up front that this is my favorite and the one I reach for if it's um, not filthy. Um, it's um, I, the things I like about it is the coverage seems pretty substantial. Like I think there's a, just the area covered might be the largest of any of the shorts, and it has a tailbone pad. Um, I don't think it's you know like certified to do anything, but it's pretty decently thick and firm and seems like it would do something, which I just have an ungodly fear of landing on my tailbone, so I like that. Um, build quality is pretty good too. Um, I've been wearing these, I've worn these a lot more than any of the other shorts. I've been wearing these for probably a couple years now, and um, they still, they faded a little bit in the mesh, um, but they still look pretty darn new. The chamois is still really comfortable. Uh, the chamois is most comfortable for me on these shorts. The chamois is just matches my anatomy nicely, I guess. And, um, yeah, super well built. The only thing I, if I could criticize anything, I would just say that they're a little bit because of that extra coverage they might be a little bit hotter uh, than the liat shorts um, and there's no holes in here to allow for venting but it's a trade-off that's worth it for me for the pad and just how comfortable they are one thing to note is that i'm a size large in both the race face and the liat and i'm a, I'm a medium in these and according to some of the reviews I was reading online, that's pretty typical that uh, people need to size down maybe on these. So, you know, pay attention to that. Um, yeah, I'm a large bottom in most cycling clothes, but a medium in these. So take that for what it's worth. I'm 180 pounds, uh, six feet tall, 34 inch waist. So you can do the math for yourself. Okay, so one thing we haven't talked about is price. And um, if you're a Geardo, you know that MSRP is often merely a suggestion and that, you know, with sales and 20% off coupons, you can often do better. But just comparing the MSRP on these uh, different shorts, the Race Face Flank uh, is listed at $106 US uh, on the Race Face website. The Liat Impact Shorts 4.0 are listed as $109.99 US on their website, on the Liat website. And the 7 IDP Flex Shorts are listed at $84.99 US. So uh, Flex Shorts, in addition to being my favorite, also coming in at the cheapest. Okay, so there you have it. As I said, uh, I wear Impact Shorts for every ride and I don't really see why more people don't. Um, nobody can tell. You wear them under your over shorts. So um, yeah, why wouldn't you? They cost about the same as a good liner short anyway, and they'll do a whole lot more for you. All right, MTB Geardo out.